what's sad in medicine is that we have to wait for the bad event to happen before we can intervene. And as someone in the front lines who sees this every day, I've seen lung cancer caused by marijuana that is incredibly aggressive. And just because we don't have the numbers yet, because we haven't been recording this data, doesn't mean that marijuana is safe. There is no real good population-based study that looks at marijuana smoking and that has had enough time elapsed to show its association with lung cancer. I've seen it. I've seen multiple, multiple cases of it. I see it every day. I'll give you one for example. Patient never smoked before, has been smoking weed since they were about 15, about a joint a day. And now they're 30, 35, and they have a very aggressive lung cancer. They have these changes in their lungs that are emphysematous that you get from smoking. And then when you look at their skin, you see the cancer there, just like in a smoker. You see a solid nodule there that's eating away at the normal lung. Doc, I didn't know I could get that from marijuana. They always said marijuana doesn't cause lung cancer. And that really saddens me. There is a lobby out there that is trying to say that marijuana is better than drinking, that it's safer, that it doesn't cause cancer, and that you should do that. And they're both bad. There is no real good population-based study that looks at marijuana smoking and that has had enough time elapsed to show its association with lung cancer. What you're gonna see going down the line is the reincarnation of the whole tobacco disaster. I see it now already. Big business and the money influence is taking precedence over the health issues.